Lesson 2.4c, Dividing with Scientific Notation. As I mentioned in the previous video, numbers that are written in scientific notation can be multiplied or divided directly by using properties of exponents. Unlike adding and subtracting with scientific notation, the powers of 10 do not need to be alike to multiply and divide. The powers of 10 can differ. Multiplying and dividing numbers written in scientific notation may be easier than in standard notation. Here we have 5.54 times 10 raised to the 6th power being divided by 2 times 10 raised to the 4th power. We just do 5.54 divided by 2, and we get 2.77. And for these exponents, since we have a like base, we just subtract, we get 10 to the 2nd power. Whereas if we did it in long division, this has a lot of zeros, and it would take us a little bit longer. So here's exactly what we did. We split this part away and did the division, 5.54 divided by 2, which came out to 2.77. And we subtracted 6 minus 4, and that gave us 2.77 times 10 raised to the second power. We divide the multiplicands, then subtract the exponents of the powers of 10. So to divide the powers of 10, to divide these, we use subtraction. Sometimes we may need to rewrite our answer in proper scientific notation. If we have 1.2 times 10 raised to the fifth power divided by 4 times 10 raised to the second power, we do this division first. We have 1.2 divided by 4, which is going to give us 3 tenths. And we do this subtraction, so we have 10 raised to the 5 minus 2, which is going to give us a 3. But we can't have 3 tenths in scientific notation. It needs to be written properly, where in the 1's place, the number should be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. We need to move this decimal point back to here, which means we need to subtract 1 from this power of 10. We're going to have 3 times 10 raised to the second power. Here we need to divide again. We're going to do 6 divided by 1.2. So we can write it with a trailing 0 in the tenths place. We have 6.0 divided by 1.2. We do the division, and we get 5. Now here we have a negative 6 minus a negative 4. Remember, when subtracting a negative, we add the opposite. So we have negative 6 plus 4. That's going to give us 5 times 10 raised to the second power. When Neptune makes an orbit around the Sun, it travels about 2.82 times 10 raised to the 10th power kilometers. Neptune travels at a rate of about 470,000 kilometers per day. How many days does one orbit of Neptune take? Write the answer in scientific notation. So we need to find 2.88 times 10 raised to the 10th power divided by 470,000. So we're going to write 470,000 in scientific notation as 4.7 times 10 raised to the 5th power. we got 5 hops, so it's raised to the 5th power. We set up a division problem using rate is equal to distance over time, distance divided by time, to represent the situation and substitute the values in the problem into the rate formula. So our rate is equal to 2.82 times 10 raised to the 10th power divided by 4.7 times 10 raised to the 5th power. We do our division here, and we're going to get 0 0.6, and we do our subtraction here and get 10 minus 5, which is 5, but we can't have 0 0.6 in proper scientific notation. So we need to move this decimal point back to here. That means we're going to have to take away 1 from this exponent. We get 6 times 10 raised to the 4th power. So for our Neptune problem, we got 6 times 10 raised to the 4th power for our answer. We can check our answer by using multiplication of the numbers written in standard notation. We multiply this answer by the 4.7 times 10 to the 5th power, which is 470,000, and we're going to get 28,200,000,000, which is 2.82 times 10 raised to the 10th power, which was our numerator. It was our 
distance in our problem. We know we did it correctly because all the numbers match. So remember, when we do a division problem, our quotient multiplied by the divisor should equal the dividend. So we can check our work for our division by using multiplication. We're finished with 2.4c, and we're going to move on to D, scientific notation, on a calculator. I hope this was easy to understand, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye!